Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Fast API. Today we are going to learn about the Fast API response model. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So Fast API response models are powerful features that helps you to define the structure and the format of the data your API will return in response. So what are response models? They act like a contract between your API and its clients, specifying the expected data format in responses. Defined using the Python type hints, typically pandemic models. Okay, so basically for like, you know, response models, we are using the pandemic models. Provided several benefits, automatic documentation, fast API generates the open AI documentation that reflects the defined response or model. Data validation, fast API validates the response data against the model, ensuring the data integrity. Improve code reliability, makes code cleaner by explicitly stating the response structure. Client generation, tools can automatically generate the client code based on the response model. How to use the response model? So, so basically we have to do i'm go, uh, basically by default is pyidentic model so create a pyidentic model class representing the response data structure use the response model parameter how you can use it with the help of the in your path operation decorator okay specify the response model class using the response is underscore model parameter let's have a look so basically just copy this and let's try to use it so you will be better understanding what exactly i'm telling you okay save this go to the terminal let me run this okay let's open this in the browser and here we have the docs for the swagger and here we have the get re get one request okay so if i just try to try it out okay so it requires the item id suppose i'm just making it this then execute so here you can see that id4 the name is this one so here you can see here we are defining the model okay so uh, so the response model right so id should be always integer and the name should be always string okay then here stimulate the fetching data from the database like this so we are returning that one so so what response model in overall what we can say that the define the structure and the format of the data your api will return in a response so basically we define the structure what exactly the response we want into that res that result okay so basically uh, if i'm just saying that the id should be in uh, integer and the name should be in string so it should return that one else it will throw the error okay so this is how you can define the response model with response underscore model and this is your model should be come over here so automatically it will give that part and return the response according to your model okay so this is how you can do that any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day